what's up it's been a hot second since we've been on here we um we went up to sundance this weekend and we left our vlog camera up there so um we just got it back um so yeah we wanted to give you a little peek of what we've been up to this week do you have a good nap <laughs> you have a good nap ah! stand up stand up <laughs> we're trying to eat a little healthier this year aren't we Going off of chicken, except for Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> We're really excited though, because we just booked our tickets to Chile. Um, a lot of you probably don't know, but Brad is half Chilean. His mom is from Chile. And so he has a lot of family there and his grandparents are still there. And so a couple days ago, we were FaceTiming with his Tata, his grandpa, and, um, his tata was having a really hard time talking to us through a screen and seeing the girls. And so what did we do? The next day we just booked flights to go to Chile and we're going next month. <laughs> You're gonna meet Tata and Abuelita. Our kitchen is gonna get ready to be done. We're just trying to decide on what type of subway tiles. Um, thank you for all of your input. We're gonna go with the Calcutta, Calcutta? countertop the one that had it's white with like all the little um like veins through it um it has more texture to it so we're gonna do that one and we're gonna we're gonna keep our cabinets white and we're gonna do our island um blue so yeah it should be fun we're gonna start getting that all ripped out hopefully in these next couple of weeks hi guys so i am gonna do something so I did too much videos. Oh. Ah. Gonna say bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> today is Wednesday and we are taking family pictures today. Oh, what is, what is going on? Why is it always when you get ready for family pictures? <laughs> Why is it always when there's family pictures it's like chaos? Hey! Oh, okay, we don't need your llama. No, I'm just gonna walk him. In the pictures? Yeah. On other news, we are super excited. Will our new welcome video be done by the time we post this? With that being said, go check out our new um, intro video. Let us know what you think. Comment below, obviously, so we can see that. We look at all of our comments. Um, but yeah, this is a new year and we're excited with like a lot of new things um, and dedicating a lot of time to YouTube. That is that is one of our main focuses. We are so close to our silver play button. That is a hundred, oh, what is it? Yeah, yeah a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand subscribers, we're at like 98 right 100, now. A hundred thousand subscribers, you guys are amazing. When I see the smile run across your face and the sunrise lights up another day. Uh, well, family pictures went extremely well. That was just, so easy actually. Um, Lucy and Greta were both saying cheese. <laughs> Greta was cheese. So we'll see how and those Lucy's turned out. All these kisses. We'll tag our photographer below, Haley Hotch. I added this new jacket to my capsule wardrobe. I'll link it below. Good morning! It is so early and we are headed to Sundance Film Festival. Yes! This yeah. is our first time, which I'm actually really surprised this is our first time. We had to wake up at 5.30 to go take the kids to my parents' house. And yeah, now we are headed up and it's gonna be a good day, I'm excited. We are going to be interviewed by Cheddar at the um, Acura booth this morning, so that'll be really fun. And we're doing some stuff with Acura with their new car, the MDX. This morning we had like a phone interview, phone call with yeah. Forbes Impact. And so we're gonna go out there and have an interview all Guys, about Summer Forbes. Divine Expeditions. It's so amazing. It's I so just cool. was pinching myself the whole time. I can't believe that's really real. That's crazy. Um, and then yesterday we had an interview or like a casting with E. Um, 
not sure what's gonna happen with that, but that was kind of interesting. Um, I can't really say much about the project, but yeah, we'll see what happens there. And then Brad's backpacks, the Holdland backpacks, the camera bags. Um, yeah. He's, what are you doing this weekend, Brad? So today, which is Friday the... 13th. Something. I'm just kidding. No, it's not, is it? Oh. It is Friday the 26th of January. Um, I get branding all done and the design of the backpack should be done today. And then tomorrow I go to Denver and I meet with, uh, his name's Jonathan from Korea and he manufactures um, backpacks and helps with the design there as well. So I did consider doing it out of the United States, but they also, to get to like the finished prototype, it would cost literally four times the amount. And as it is that I am not sitting on a pot of gold, I cannot do that right now. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to meet with, I'm going to meet with him tomorrow. Haley will stay home with the, the kiddos. Yeah, which... I'm gonna do a little mommy daughter dates night with Lucy. January is always crazy for us because we're like booking all of our travel for the whole year and just like securing a bunch of things and like doing back end stuff and so um, this is just typically, whoa, where are we going? No worries. Um, this is just typically how our Januarys kind of roll and then the rest of the year is more fun. Yeah, as far as travel, we have some really fun trips coming up this year, which I'm so excited to take you guys on the adventure because um, I don't know if you saw our video that we made um, in Africa, um, in Kenya, for Monami. I'll link it below. Um, but we're gonna change like the way we kind of document our travels and um, meeting people. Hear us out. It's gonna be. It's. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just feel like so much of like social media is so like focused inward, and we're wanting to focus more outward and share the stories of the people that we meet along the way. Instead of just showing people visually, like we want to have a voiceover and like tell about our family members and tell about these people that we meet along our adventure. It's just so, I mean, it's so inspirational to us. And yeah. like, that's what we produce right here. It's just like what has been impactful in our lives that we want to share with everyone and remember for ourselves and for our kids and everyone just to kind of just live vicariously through each other. Yeah. And like there's stories that we haven't shared, like the Maasai Warriors. We didn't really share that much about them, but there was yeah. so much about them. And there's like friends that we hang out with and you know, we times Stay in contact to with. Like yeah. even when we went to Japan this last year, like we stayed with some of our friends that like we became connected with in the weirdest way, um, Kiyomi and Yuki, and they offered us their home to stay in and it, we had like the most beautiful experience with them and I think I actually will create a voiceover video um, of our travels to Japan because we went to like Tokyo Disney with them and everything. We have all this footage we never did anything with it. Um, but even like the day that we went out and made that video um, with Instax with them, like that was the coolest day ever when we... Kimonos. Yeah, we got dressed in the traditional kimonos and learned all about went to, like, it. Went local and, town. Yeah, and, like, went to the local around. town and everything and like we had like, we produced a video with music to it and everything, but it's just different when we are sitting down and showing it to like our, our parents and stuff. We're like, oh my gosh, mom, like this happened and that and this, that and that. Like there's so many stories behind the video that I feel like haven't been illustrated and we've just been trying to like yeah. learn that process and so and we're excited. It. Like we want to be storytellers, that's what we do, we're videographers yeah. and we want to be like, we take pictures but our main thing is video mm -hmm. and we need to spend more time like creating content on YouTube and like for ourselves because that's what we yeah. do, we're video yeah. creators. We just want to create like more meaningful content like I mean coming back to just being mindful about everything that we do. Um, this year and so I think it all just comes full circle about creating like really being very mindful about the content that we're producing and putting out into our space um, we, But yeah, we're, we're we're almost to a hundred thousand subscribers, nuts. which is crazy you guys Thank you so much for all of your support. This has been the most incredible journey and I am just so thankful for this online community and all the support and love that you guys shared us. So thank you um and then on another note, Lucy has gotten 
really interested into vlogging. <laughs> so um, we just bought a second vlog camera. So this one might that actually be become That's Lucy's. Actually That's a smart idea. Would actually. that be cute? So yeah, you'll be able to see more bits of Lucy's perspective um, on our channel as well, which will be really fun. Um, what do you think of it all? What do yeah. you think of like, that's kind of the new direction we want to take. Um, I love it, Haley loves it. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, we, we, guys, we read our comments, we really do. And I love them. We notice all of you that are always commenting in like familiar faces or the profile picture. So thank you again from me now um, for all that you've, you've done in supporting us and, and uh, just making this a fun space. I feel like social media has become actually very serious lately. Yeah, like very, I do feel like lately social media has gotten very serious and like I just want to be a part of creating this a really fun, inspiring space again. Um, and that's more so speaking for like Instagram. Um, we, Brad and I have gotten in a new system and this is day three doing it. Um, yeah. Where Instagram we was just consuming so much of our time and like we'd post something and then like see all the comments roll in and be like commenting back where we decided now that um, it's a structure. Yeah, we need to we need to give our life more structure and um, just be more mindful about our time. And so we've decided to set um, a time for every day to just look at social media. And so we've decided for us um, when we look at it is after we put the girls to bed. And it's actually been really fun these last couple it's days. It's been great. Because actually. like Brad like posts something and then it's like you don't get to check it for like six hours later like <laughs> to see the response and like we still do Instagram stories and stuff but we're not so like rule, actively like, checking it all the time. Yeah you can post throughout the day but it's actually checking it and stuff we can't do till later that night. Yeah. Which has been great because then we're not like you know we're more present we're not, with each other. Yeah and with our kids like I just don't want Lucy and Greta to have memories of us like always looking at our phones and like whenever I open a direct message on Instagram I feel like I have to respond right away you know and so um and yeah it's been really cool it's so, only been three days but I feel like it's changed like our home and just weird. how we live because it's like the smallest thing but it, yeah but like in no means are we against social media no no it's I love just social like, media I feel like it can like consume so much of your time and energy mm -hmm. unless if you don't have the structure so we made the structure and it's been working out but yeah, it's been really fun, like, finding this structure and this new rhythm, like, as Summer Divine's growing, um, we're just trying to, like, just be so mindful with our time and just the content that we're producing. Anyway, thank you, you guys, for following along this crazy adventure. <laughs> oh, the focus. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, we're going to be posting more consistently now, especially now that we have our vlog camera back. Bye, guys. See ya.